This is the Mistress Carrie Situation Report for August 1st, 2024. Your daily music headlines, industry info, and everything rock. A new line of alcoholic beverages inspired by the late Pantera guitarist Dimebag Daryl has been launched. Dime's estate, led by his widow Rita Haney, has announced the launch of Black Tooth Beverages. Saying, quote, a female-owned and led liquor brand founded by Rita Haney, trustee and widow of the late legendary Pantera and damage playing guitarist Dimebag Daryl, Black Tooth Beverages' mission is to honor his legacy with premium handcrafted beverages, which embody his rebellion, creativity, and unifying nature with the release of Black Tooth American Rye Whiskey and Black Tooth Grin Ready to Drink Single Serve Cocktails. Rita Haney saying, Daryl always wanted his own whiskey. We talked about it a lot together. I have handwritten notes and lists with his ideas and drawings. Black Tooth was always part of those goals that he wanted to reach. Dime was always about unity, whether it be brought around through music or good cocktails. He loved to pour them up and watch it go. He was always about a damn good time. I think his whiskey represents his essence very well. The get you pull attitude, enjoy life and have as much of a good time as can be had. You can't go wrong with that outlook and a good cocktail to go along with it. The Black Tooth Beverages launch will be celebrated with a special event on Tuesday, August 20th on Dimebag's birthday from 5 to 8 p.m. at the iconic Rainbow Bar and Grill in West Hollywood. Prince has been posthumously inducted into the Songwriters Hall of Fame. The induction took place on Saturday, July 27th at a 40th anniversary screening of Prince's Purple Rain at the Target Center in his native Minneapolis. His induction marks the second time the Songwriters Hall of Fame has awarded an artist posthumously after inducting the late Cindy Walker in April. He was inducted by Gilbert Davidson, a longtime colleague of the musician, who then bestowed the award to Prince's sister, Sharon Nelson. You will always remember his song, she told the crowd. This is the award he wanted more than any other in life, to be known as a great songwriter. Post Malone has revealed the track listing for his upcoming 18-track project, that comes out on August 16th. His highly anticipated debut country album, F1 Trillion, features Luke Combs, Morgan Wallen, and Blake Shelton. But recently, he announced that Tim McGraw, Hank Williams Jr., Dolly Parton, Brad Paisley, Lainey Wilson, Jelly Roll, Ernest, Sierra Farrell, Chris Stapleton, and Billy Strings are also part of the project. Post Malone will also make his Grand Ole Opry debut on August 14th. And speaking of country music, Papa Roach have recruited Carrie Underwood for a new version of their song, Leave a Light On, Talk Away the Dark, set to be released this Friday, August 2nd. Papa Roach announced the collaboration yesterday, sharing a few photos from the studio on social media, including the following message. We're continuing the mission to raise awareness for suicide prevention and the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. Talk away the dark's campaign now with the incredible Carrie Underwood by our side. The newly announced Grateful Dead box set, Friend of the Devils, April 1978, will include eight complete previously unreleased concerts. Available September 20th, the 19-disc set returns to the post-hiatus era when drums and space were becoming established as second set traditions. Ukrainian metal band Ginger are now streaming a brand new single called Someone's Daughter, recording sessions for the band's fifth studio album wrapped up last month with plans to tour the U.S. this fall. And Lacuna Coil have premiered their new song, Hosting the Shadow, featuring Lamb of God's Randy Blythe. Lacuna Coil have recently been winding down the work on their upcoming 10th studio album. The release date is still pending. Netflix has revealed a premiere date for season two of its hit show Squid Game and announced that the show has been renewed for a third and final season. Squid Game season two is set to premiere December 26th. Season three will premiere in 2025. Mudvayne are slated to headline this year's New Metal Revolution Festival, taking place October 26th in Mexico City. Static X, El Nino, Drowning Pool, Dope, Head PE, and Edema are also on the lineup. 
And Chicago this weekend will host Lollapalooza 2024. Beginning today and running through Sunday, August 4th, if you can't be there in person, a number of the festival's performances will be streaming on Hulu. The live stream includes Blink-182, The Deftones, Megan the Stallion, The Killers, and more. The Lollapalooza stream is available to all Hulu subscribers from August 1st through the 4th. If you're not currently a subscriber, you can sign up for a three-month free trial, after which plans start at $7.99 a month. And that's your sit rep. For more details on all of the stories, check the links in the show notes of this episode. And don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe to the Mistress Carrie podcast. New full-length episodes come out every Wednesday. Episode 217 featuring Slash is available now.